now one of the things the Bible says is that we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Overcoming the enemy is something that's so very important, but it's important for us to understand that he's already been defeated. Satan is a defeated foe. We're not trying to defeat him. Satan is not defeated, this Jesus. As long as you, Creflo Dollar, and T.D. Jakes, and the rest of the ministry, and the congregation, judge and accuse the Lord, Adam, you know what I'm saying? And everybody who like him, you know what I'm saying? Who is Adam? Who is Jesus? The last Adam. And uh, myself, the first Adam, Creflo Dollar. Satan was not defeated on the cross. It just started a war, you know what I'm saying? How was it defeated if all the Christians had to die? You know what I'm saying? How was that glory? You know what I'm saying? How was that glory? If we all died and then the synagogue was taken over by brutish preachers, you know what I'm saying? By people who took 10% from y'all like I told you they was going to do when you wanted kings, you know what I'm saying? Who was going to judge and accuse you as Satan. So how is Satan defeated if you still judging and accusing for Satan? You know what I'm saying? If you still judging and accusing for Satan, you not Jesus. And you lying to us. <laughs> That's why I said, watch out for those people who say they Jesus. Because everybody ain't Jesus. This Jesus. They Jesus, they say this Jesus. They don't say in the name of Jesus. They don't do nothing saying in the name of Jesus. Like it's a password. Like you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know it. Because he was supposed to be you. And if you was Jesus, you would say this Jesus. Pray to me, this Jesus. And you would know that every man, every woman, every child born in the world come from Adam first. And then, once they're born again, they are Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And born again is just simply hearing God, hearing the man. And man, Ain't never had a name. They stole that from us. Man is a mighty angel now. That was stolen from Jesus. That was in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The explain, explanation of man, which is a mighty angel now. But Christians that were of the Pharisees, not Christians of Christ. And the synagogue, not the church that I built, the church that I built, I'm within. I run, I'm the engine, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about in the engine of the car and I'm the car I'm the engine I'm in each one of y'all and you drive you walk you talk but that's really me I do all that I drive I talk as you you know what I'm saying? I'm the one turned on. I'm the battery. I'm the juice. I'm the energy. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Satan ain't gonna be through 
until all y'all are afraid to judge and accuse anybody. Because all are God's. And you judge God, that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So whether it's a child born today, or whether it's an old man that's about to die today, you know what I'm saying? We are all gods. You judge any one of us. You judge God. That's the reason you don't want to accept being Jesus or say this Jesus. Because you're supposed to do as Jesus did. And you can't. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You don't want to. You don't want to accept. You know what I'm saying? You'd rather kill him and steal from him. You know what I'm saying? Come on already defeated and so one of the things we need to understand is that you know we can continue to overcome him by proclaiming what the blood of Jesus has already accomplished when we you know y'all talk about the blood of Jesus like it's something that you put on something you know what I'm saying that's religion putting something on something that sound like witchcraft you putting the blood of Jesus on something. You know what I'm saying? The blood of Jesus is your blood, Creflo Dollar. Your blood. If you Jesus and accepted him, he inside of you. Hidden. With you inside as God. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you don't want to admit. You don't want somebody to rule over you. And Adam is God. You know what I'm saying? He is. You know what I'm saying? He the ticket. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm talking about, Creflo. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all knew. But you being brand new, you know what I'm saying? One day you'll know. You know what I'm saying? And you will enter into Jesus and dine with Jesus and sup with Jesus. And the blood you talking about, you putting on something, you'll know that it's the blood that's keeping you living. Not something you can put on something. The blood of Jesus wasn't no magic. It's a magical thing, but it ain't nothing that you put on nobody. It's just you dying with Jesus, being buried with Jesus, and being resurrected, being raised by Daddy, me, and God, me, and Jesus, me, and being raised from the dead, and then you being Jesus, being me. Not talking about putting my blood on something or putting Jesus on somebody or saying in the name of Jesus thinking that's doing something. Like he's somewhere in the sky somewhere and not in you. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come on, man. Be real. I told you when God come, can you stand it? You knew, brand new, N-E-W. I knew this God. K-N-E-W. I was you before you was you. That's why it's so easy. Prayer flow. <laughs> he proclaimed I was the dollar. victory <laughs> that is in the blood of Jesus. Then that proclaiming is it, something so very powerful. People, we, we talk about pleading the blood of Jesus and faith in the blood of Jesus. Faith in the blood of Jesus is knowing what the, Jesus, what the blood of Jesus has accomplished for us. And when you know what the blood of Jesus has accomplished and you have faith in that, then you can expect uh, uh, a lot of things to begin to happen, and especially getting a hold of and maintaining what the blood of Jesus has accomplished. We overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. Our testimony is about what the blood of Jesus has done. That's how you testify. You start getting big testimony. So I thought, well, I'd give you about 20 of these so that you will never uh, be without 
a testimony concerning what the blood of Jesus has already done. And I thought, man, this is really an important lesson because it's just not enough to say the blood's against you. And you know, the devil might say, oh, 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 well, what you know about the blood? And you say, it's Jesus' blood. Well, you gotta know more than that in order to get victory, all right? And so to, to, let's start at verse 15. I've already given you 14 of them. Uh, you can go back and uh, look at last week. Like I say, when the men went to cast out demons out of this man, and the demons in the man said, they said they was casting out demons in the name of Jesus that Paul preached. And the demon said, we know Jesus. We know Paul. But who are you? You know what I'm saying? And now, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you don't say in the name of Jesus. You just are Jesus. You say this Jesus. You don't, like I say, you know what I'm saying? If you was to come to heaven, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you get to the door, you knock. You know what I'm saying? And God answered the door. You know what I'm saying? And say, who is it? Instead of saying your name, you know you're supposed to be in the name of Jesus. So if you're in the name of Jesus, what shall you say? If God say, who is it? Are you going to say, in the name of Jesus? Or are you just going to say, this Jesus? This Jesus is the correct answer. That's common sense. That's not built in religion, church sense. Like the blood of Christ is outside of you and not your own blood. You know what I'm saying? Like Christ is not a title but a name for one man no that's a title of the people of Christ God is just a title not my name my name Adam just like Adam it's God you know what I'm saying and my name Adam Jesus name was Jesus But he was Christ as the title, the crown he wore. But he was as God. You know what I'm saying? Just like Adam now. It's pick the new nickname for God. The new title for God. It's pick. You know what I'm saying? Just like Christ came, gave you Christ. Pick coming to get you pick. You know what I'm saying? And that's God Christ pick. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Creflo man is really easy. It's like one, two, three. It's arithmetic. Addition. You know what I'm saying? Are you like Adam? Addish. Or as Adam. As am. You know what I'm saying? Or do you still want to be us? You know what I'm saying? Or we. You know what I'm saying? And get mad at I and get jealous at I. You know what I'm saying? The devil is the accuser, not the one that you claim sinning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you see from your eyes, you wouldn't see if you was blind. You know what I'm saying? If you was blind, you would not see and you would not be in your sins and you wouldn't be able to be Satan unless you go by gossip, what people tell you. You know what I'm saying? Then your whole, whole heart will be messed up. You, the blind leading the blind. You know what I'm saying? Even though the person see, they, what they see, they telling you and you believe. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, Satan is the accuser of the brother. This week's Bible study on YouTube or uh, access it and get those 14. Number 15, we'll start here tonight. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13. Number 15, by the blood of Jesus, 
we are able to come close to God. By the blood of Jesus, we are able to become, to, to come close to God. So, you know, you defeat the devil, you keep the defeat on the devil by knowing what the blood has done. And so you can declare. Why not, instead of saying, by the blood of Jesus, we get close to God, why not just simply say, being Jesus is being God? You know what I'm saying? Being Jesus, Creflo Dollar, is being God. I taught you that. You gonna try to take it in as you got that, you already knew that. You know what I'm saying? But Adam here, that's the Holy Ghost. My ghost, Creflo Dollar, this God. Pop's ghost is Adam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah that I am, I, am, I am close to God because of the blood of Jesus. Uh, Ephesians 2 and 13 says this, but now in Christ Jesus, you who, were, who once were far off have been brought near by the blood. Do you got that? But now in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, in is the key word, but now in Christ Jesus, not the blood of Jesus doing stuff for you, but now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. In Christ Jesus, if you in Christ Jesus, then you and Christ share the same blood. You know what I'm saying? It's not that his blood up there in the sky on the right hand of me doing nothing is serving you something by claiming it to get something. No, you got to be me, man. That's the key. See, don't nobody want to be me. And they just say in the name of thinking that that's the magic word, a password or something to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? But you're supposed to be me. And if you me, you won't do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? You won't have to. I died for the sin. And when you died with me, the sins you did, you don't do no more. And that was judging and accusing, killing, stealing, destroying, adultery, and all that. You got to judge and accuse somebody before you uh, uh, do them wrong. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a devil to judge and accuse them. Be in an opposition. You know what I'm saying? Opposing them. You know, holding them down from something. You know what I'm saying? Judging and accusing them. On smoking, drinking, sex, without being married. You know what I'm saying? All them things ain't sin. The sin is the one who judging and accusing what you seen. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, if you say you see, you still in your sins. If you say you don't see, you are not in your sins. If you say you see, you judge and accuse. You in your sins. If you don't see, you don't judge and accuse. You are not in your sins. Judging and accusing is the sin. Not the act betrayed. You know what I'm saying? Judging and accusing destroyed the world. That's why you decay, get old, and die. Because you judge and accuse God. And when you judge and accuse God of being old, or being a crackhead, or being on cigarettes, or drinking, or drunkard, they call me a drunkard. This Jesus. Because I hung with sinners and tax collectors and got drunk, went to the club, went to weddings, made wine all the time, not just one time. You know what I'm saying? Walked on water all the time, not just one time. And I can do it now. But if they show you that, then I'd crack all of it and it'd be through, it'd be over. You know what I'm saying? No. But they showed you me turning into something, didn't let me see it, I turn off. But I still fought. You know what I'm saying? Then I woke up and with somebody in a headlock. You know what I'm saying? My normal side. You know what I'm saying? So 
we had turned into giants and we fought, you know what I'm saying? We blacked out, you know what I'm saying? Then next day, no police. Boo, 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 boo. A 20 minute ride turned into a 30 second ride, you know what I'm saying? Street names changing as we passed them, you know what I'm saying? Glowing, you know what I'm saying? Letting me know I was in heaven, you know what I'm saying? But Creflo, man, the devil is an accuser of the brother. Like I say, you can't kill, steal, destroy, you can't come against nobody unless you judge and accuse them first. That's the sin that you in when you see things to judge and accuse. Creflo Dollar, <laughs> like you judge and accuse Adam. I ain't heard nobody say, give him no money. <laughs> I ain't heard God say, give nobody no money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you heard you say, give you some money, didn't you? Like I say, woe to the shepherds for not feeding my sheep, for feeding themselves. You know what I'm saying? Imitating me. You know what I'm saying? The blood of Christ. See, at one time, we, we were not near to God. In fact, in the Old Testament, you couldn't even touch the mountain where the presence of God was. You couldn't even touch right. the bottom of it, because if you did, you'd fall dead. And so, but because of the blood of Jesus, we are brought near to God. God wants a relationship with us. But, but I declare and I testify that I am brought near to God by the blood of Jesus. I am no longer far away from God. I'm no longer in a place where I can't have fellowship and relationship with him. I have, bought, I have been uh, in a position where I've been brought near to God by the blood of Jesus. Number 16, this is in Luke 22 and 20. Luke 22 and 20. Number 16, by the blood of Jesus, I can participate in the sweet communion of remembrance of his sacrifice. By the blood of Jesus, I can participate in the sweet communion. There's communion. Creflo Dollar, it's simple. Just say, by being Jesus, all that stuff can happen. By being Jesus. All that stuff can happen. Not the blood of Jesus. Just, just like saying in the name of Jesus. Instead of telling daddy this Jesus. When you go to him. You know what I'm saying. Jesus is not somebody. Else you know. <laughs> Jesus you. He in you. He makes you go. Because he God. He pick. You know what I'm saying. What you don't believe in that you trying to sabotage, you know what I'm saying? And thinking you gonna win something, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. God, Adam, <laughs> Adam, God, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he Jesus too, and shit. Come on now. Because of the blood of Jesus. The sweet communion, and what is communion about? About remembrance of his sacrifice. Look what he says here in Luke 22 and 20. He says, likewise, he also took the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. This cup, so in communion, the cup represents the blood of Jesus and this cup represents the New Testament. And so the New Testament or the new covenant or the covenant of grace, has been made available to me by the blood of Jesus. I have a right to every promise in that new covenant. I have a right to the grace of God in that new covenant. In that new covenant, I, 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 I don't have to, you know, be good in order for God to show me his goodness. God will show me his goodness and then I'll be good, you see, because of the grace that has been made available to me. And I get that, the new covenant. That, to me, that was amazing that by the blood of Jesus, the new covenant in his blood has been made available to me. Had Jesus never shed his blood, we would not have entered into this new covenant of grace. But because he shed his blood, we have access. Say that word, access. We have access, access by the blood. And so you can literally 
tell the truth, Gruff Flow. Don't, don't be saying it's Jesus. Don't be saying, you know, when he shed his blood. No, tell the truth. When we killed him. Say it like that. When we killed Jesus, you know what I'm saying, then you'll know why you saying in the name and not this Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Tell the truth. When we killed Jesus, don't be talking about no when he gave up his blood. Come on now. A lot of times I'll do this. I'll say by the blood of Jesus, I have access to healing. By the blood of Jesus, I have access to prosperity. By the blood of Jesus, you see the blood has given you access to every promise in the new covenant. Access. By us understanding this, we know what to put in our mind. Access to this knowledge, Creflo Dollar. Access to access to my wisdom, Creflo Dollar. But if it come from anybody else but you, you don't want to believe it. It's God. I could understand. I don't believe nothing that come from man. But I'm not a man, Creflo Dollar. I'm a mighty angel now. I'm a majestic angel now. I'm your majesty, Adam now. That's a man, Creflo Dollar, an angel. Not some, uh, I don't even know what to say. Manure, you know what I'm saying? I can't call you nothing more, you know what I'm saying? But the waste that leave us, because we mighty angels, we control the body, not you in the body. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know, there. God do the work. This Jesus in everybody. Me, you, him, him, her, her. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? God is the battery. God is the whole engine. You know what I'm saying? And we just children of God. God, that's who we are. We God. I prayed and said, keep through your own name them that you have given me so they may be one as we are. So not only is I Jesus God, I am Adam. You know what I'm saying? My father. And not only am I my father, <laughs> Adam, you know what I'm saying, is offering you his daddy, God, you know what I'm saying. Adam, the only son of God, first son of God, how can I be born years and years and years later and then take over Adam, who was born first. I didn't do nothing different from what Adam did. Adam came and redeemed himself as Jesus, as Latroy Jackson. He redeemed himself. Yeah, he messed up sometime. But then what? What is forgiveness? If you don't forgive, I won't forgive you. Adam forgive all the time. So I forgive Adam. Adam not my favorite. But when you're in trouble, I come to the rescue. And that's all, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love all my kids the same way. Wow proclamation of the blood of Jesus and what the blood has accomplished is gonna you're gonna see great changes in your life when you begin to, to declare that especially when it's kind of rough and maybe fear is knocking at the door that's when you open your mouth up and overcome the, the fear by the blood of Jesus and proclaiming what the blood of Jesus has already done number 17 number 17 We'll look at 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 and 19. 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 and 19. By the blood of Jesus, my, and this is tough, it's kind of tough, by the blood of Jesus, my redemption will never perish. By the blood of Jesus, my redemption will never perish. Now say this out loud, by the, by the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. All right, that, that means, you know, delivered or the ransom to set you free has been paid, but my redemption will never perish. It, it, it's not going to just dwindle away one day and I don't have it. I am redeemed right now, and watch this, and forevermore. 
I'm redeemed, right? And that, that's hard for, for religious people to get a hold of, that your redemption will never Adam perish. Cool. Adam I am too. redeemed, it'll never So perish. you and Adam cool now, Creflo Dollar. You and Adam cool. You done made up with Adam, which is making up with God. You know what I'm saying? You done gave Adam what you supposed to give Adam. And everybody in the world got their blessing, huh? If you so good with God, Creflo Dollar, you in this. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. I don't really like to deal with no married preacher. But then, you know. Perish because of the blood of Jesus that was shed for me. Now, 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19 says this, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold. So I wasn't redeemed with things that, that perish. I wasn't redeemed with things that are corruptible. My redemption, glory to God, was given to me uh, through, through something that's incorruptible. It's given to me through the precious blood of Jesus, which means that what I have will not perish. It will not pass away. He said, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but you were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ just like a lamb without blemish and without spot. You, you were redeemed by the precious blood of Christ and as a result of it, you're just like a lamb without blemish or without spot. I have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Glory be, I've been redeemed from sin. I've been delivered from sin, sickness, poverty. I've been delivered from failure. My redemption will not perish because of the blood of Jesus, praise God. Now you think about this. I mean, it, it's a long, long list, but you know, you know, we're recording this, and you can you can get it, look at it, and write it down again. But this, to me, this is the key to everyday victory: knowing what the blood has done, not what you do. You, you know, you can't get in God's face and talk about, "Well, Lord, look at what about look at look at everything I've done." But when you start proclaiming the victory that we have obtained through the blood of Jesus. Satan will flee from you. But we gotta get See Creflo Dollar claiming the victory. You can't claim the victory that Jesus gave you if you judging and accusing and being Satan. That's not defeating Satan. That's just Satan lying to you. You know what I'm saying? What you defeating? You know what I'm saying? How you defeating Satan by, you know, I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, but the blood of Jesus and you still killing, stealing, and destroying. That means they still accuse you. You know what I'm saying? So how the blood of Jesus healed everything. If you not Jesus himself, Creflo Dollar, if you saying in the name of Jesus, that means you not Jesus. If you saying in Jesus' name, that means you not Jesus. You know what I'm saying? But if you saying this Jesus, when you pray, this Jesus, when you, you know, you know, get up on the pulpit, this Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Even this Adam, yes, because when I prayed, I said, oh, Father, that's Adam. Keep through your name them that you have given me so they may be one as we are. You know what I'm saying? They in this world, but they not of the world. You know what I'm saying? They with me in heaven, you know what I'm saying? In them, and they in me, Creflo Dollar. Not somebody on earth talking about in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I know Jesus, but I don't know you. You're supposed to say this Jesus. And then I say, okay, that's my son. I trust him, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna trust nobody else. He told me that, you know what I'm saying? Get out of the religious place where, you know, <clears throat> Satan, the blood's against you. Now you got to know more than that. You got to know more than that. It, it's, you know, I, I just think, again, I said it on Sunday, I think God will be able to do a lot more if you get to know him better. And, and, and that's why for me somebody, to take the time from somebody that to get don't the know scriptures, me, to show you, know you what the scripture me. says, to apply the thing they just like this. To me, it, it, this is valuable. You know me, to come and get some stuff do like this and to be able to no. go through each of these. You can literally go through this list later on 
and whatever's bugging you that day, you can pick the scripture out and pick out what the blood has done and just wear him out for the rest of the week with it. Amen. I think number 18 here. Number 18. This is a church. This is a believer. These are thoughts and prayers. By the blood of Jesus, and it's Revelations 1 and 5. By the blood of Jesus, uh, Jesus testifies on my behalf. Jesus is testifying on my behalf. Watch this, that I am clean. It's one thing for me to say, it's another thing for Jesus to say. He testifies on my behalf. If you are an accused of the brethren, Jesus cannot testify for you. If you somebody who say, I ain't heard God say, get nobody no money. You know, God ain't never, I ain't never seen no letter where it come from God saying that he giving nobody no million dollars. Now that's a lie, Cruffalo Dollar. I've been saying it since 2009 or before, way before, since 96. You know what I'm saying? I've been preaching. You know what I'm saying? I gave you Christ. You didn't even know you were supposed to be Christ until I gave you Christ. Now you're talking about the blood of Jesus like you're going to put it on something. Like you're going to slew an animal, a lamb, and then put the blood on something. That's what I did away with. Jesus' blood wasn't for you to flip on me and talk about it's the blood of the lamb and all that. Stuff. No, I want you to be Jesus. Be me. You know what I'm saying? Be Jesus. Be me. Be Adam. You know what I'm saying? Be the firstborn of all creation the first fruit not just of you know what i'm saying creflo dollar how can i testify to god that you good if i hear you judging and accusing me all the time blaspheming the holy ghost <laughs> that's unforgivable i don't even pray for people like that you know what i'm saying have that i am clean revelation 1 and 5 and from jesus christ the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Oh my goodness. You've been washed, you've been cleansed in his blood and has made us, watch this, kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Check this out again. To him who loved us, washed us from our sins in his own blood. I got to tell you something. Whatever's washed in the blood of Jesus will outdo Tide and Ajax all day long. And you've been washed. You've been washed in the blood of Jesus. So to, to go around. Man, use another term. You ain't been washed in the blood of Jesus. Man, the blood of Jesus is pumping through your veins. The water, uh, the living water. The air you breathe. I'm the air you breathe. Not just the blood of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Use another term. Say, Jesus, with Jesus' blood, flowing through me with his mind I'm renewed you know say something else you know what I'm saying the blood of Jesus talking about y'all killing Jesus and all that there lying talking about talking about uh when he gave up his blood <laughs> yeah he gave it up but why don't you tell the truth on your end when we killed him you know what I'm saying come on now around in condemnation, in shame, in guilt, and in regret, and that, that's on you every day. What it says is you have no faith in what the blood of Jesus has accomplished for you. The blood of Jesus has cleansed you. Oh, but I feel funny getting up talking about I'm cleansed after what I did last week. D don't do that, that's a trick of the devil. Listen, understand, God understands you. God knows you can't do nothing without him. You just got to realize you can't do nothing without him. And he has cleansed you in his blood. Don't bring it up again.
It's time for you to walk away from some things. You, you, you got to walk away from some things. By the blood of Jesus, I have been cleansed. And you might have to say that, depending on what it is, you might have to say that about, I don't know, all day. By the blood, every time it comes to your mind, by the blood of Jesus, I've been cleansed. By the blood of Jesus, I've been cleansed. He you know I wouldn't teach nobody that, man. That's, that's just contradicting what I came to do. You're supposed to be saying, you know, not by no blood of Jesus. You're supposed to be saying, you know, since Jesus died, you know, for our sins, you know what I'm saying? And came in us and dined with us and slept with us. You know what I'm saying? Being Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I'm saved. Being Jesus, I'm saved. And being Jesus, you saved. Because I'm not going to judge you and I'm not going to accuse you. Like the woman at the well, I'm not going to judge you. And when I told her, go and sin no more, I whispered to her, sinning ain't what you did. Sinning is what they did, judging and accusing. Now go and sin no more. Don't judge and accuse nobody because I didn't judge you. You know what I'm saying? This God, this Jesus, this pig, you know what I'm saying? Respect. God, you know what I'm saying? I would say respect pick, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to say I concede it, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get off this thing now, you know what I'm saying? That's all I want to. That's enough, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to teach y'all none of Creflo ways, you know what I'm saying? Dollar, you know what I'm saying? You knew God was going to come and get on you, man. Married, <laughs> y'all come on now. After the resurrection, daddy? Yeah, married. Come on now.